Smith Lock. Sean came. I heard him kicking at the back door. I heard it three times. I just sat right there. I was like so scared. I called the police. I said, he's coming. He coming. He coming. He's right there. They kept asking. So you're on the line with 911. Mm -hmm. And he at the back door. He kicked Stomping on the door. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. I knew I, I, in the front door, I had a chair right there to barricade the front door. So I knew if I tried to get out of her room and hop and run down the steps, it was going to take me time to move that chair from the front door to run. So I just I just stayed there. I stayed right there in the corner in my daughter's room. Now, I asked you this before, but I, I'm going to ask you again because I'm really trying to understand everything here. At this point, you're on nine one. You're on the phone with nine one one. He's kicking at the door. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind? He, he coming to kill me. He coming to kill me. Not to argue uh -uh. or fight. He, uh -uh. You're thinking he's coming to kill you now. He, he is. He is, and he was. He was. He before before he came to my house. We both was working at. Mm -hmm. Cause he think that me and her having sex, and we not. We just friends. I'm not into women, and she not into women either. That's just his control mentality. So he came up there and said, "I'm about to go kill this bitch," and he came immediately at my house. She couldn't call me because she didn't have her cell phone. She left it at home, and she don't know my number by heart. So you, but so you, of course you learned this after the fact. After the fact. But on his way to you. He stopped. He told someone he's coming to get you. He, I'm getting ready to kill his bitch. Was his exact words. Wow. Now he came. Had he ever had he ever threatened you to kill you before? Yeah. Um. In May of this year, he put a gun to my head. Um. All because he was mad. He put a gun to my head and bust the um, bust the middle of my head, and he went to jail. And I think it was June or July. They gave June or July 12th. They gave us an unlawful contact. He cannot do none of any of that. Even when he stole the baby money and everything, that right there was a violation of unlawful contact. Stealing the money for the party? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. That, right that may have been missing the, in the, when the, the system failed, but he took $300 of yours, stole the money that was put aside for your daughter's mm -hmm. party. Daughter, Both of your daughter's mm -hmm. party, the five-year-old. He didn't care. It's, it, and I even told Sean, I said, another reason why I don't want you here is because you're not here for Yvonne. You're not here because Yvonne deserves a father, just like any other kid. you here for personal reasons. you here because of me. Sean, it, it just went way beyond love. It just turned into obsession. And any you can question anybody in the area where I live that, that affiliates their stuff with us, and they will tell you the same thing. That man is obsessed with that girl. That is that relationship is dangerous. Yes, with me. Now, what? Why? What do you think your neighbors or other people saw? Why you think if they were asked, they would say it was dangerous? Because you're telling me a lot of things that just happened, but it sounds like a, most of it was behind closed doors. But at some point, it started to spill over. I guess it was public yeah. too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They when. Uh, he out, like I said, outside kicking the door and stuff like that. My neighbors would be out there looking. He would be buying drugs and stuff for my neighbors. And up at the, while he was at work, I just left my door. I left and let him go ahead and stay because I just couldn't deal with the drama no more. While he was up there, he would sit up there and just conversate and say things about me. So that's why other people got the idea that, you know, you need to leave him alone. Yeah. You need to leave him alone. It is dangerous. Yeah, you left uh, when he came. He came through the door. Through the door the that, last time. Can you tell us what took place? That other voice you're hearing, folks, is my, my longtime radio partner, Larry. Larry, the celebrity cab driver yeah. you hear on uh, WOLB. And we thank Larry for uh, working very hard in helping to arrange this interview. And yes. Uh, what happened when he came in? The final time he came in, the uh, last time when, when he called 911, was on the phone with 911, and he came into uh, the back door. Back he door. was kicking it, like, he kicked it like three times. 
And I knew he was coming. I just knew he was coming to kill me because I turned my the police said, stop answering the phone for him. I turned the phone off. So because I turned the phone off, I knew he would think that it was another guy or something in the house. And it, it really wasn't. I just wanted him to go. I just wanted him to just go ahead, just let it go. I, we are better apart. We can't be apart because his attitude, I can't do it. I can't, it took, uh, it took for me to look on TV to know that I was in an abusive relationship. And the whole time everybody telling me, but it, it's like it didn't matter to me. So like I said, I was on the phone with the police and I said, he coming, he coming. The, the, the dispatch is stupid. She just kept asking me, what's your address, what's your address? I said, I already told you my address. He coming through the door. He's coming. And then I said, he in, he in. I can just feel my heart just stop just drop in my stomach so it was a knife right there uh, a little steak knife and I just sat in the corner and I was trying to be as quiet as I could John came in I got uh, at the bed when you walk up my steps is a, for a door to go through mm -hmm. he kicked in that door I shut my bedroom door so he could think that I was in there I, I shut he kicked in that door so I He's here, he's here. So he's on a rampage in the house right. looking for you. And I'm whispering on the phone. I, my daughter room, of course, she's five. She don't have a lock on her door. And the window is too high. The lady said, could you get out somewhere? I said, no, I'm going to hurt myself. The window is just too high for me to jump out. And I, But I was whispering. I was so quiet. Then I heard Sean suck his teeth. And then he took a deep breath. <sighs> and I was like starting to get happy because I thought maybe like he he given up, he getting ready to leave. But no, he came and he kicked in that door. As soon as he kicked in that door, I jumped up off the bed and I got in the corner on my daughter bed. And I said, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I, and the whole time the police is still on the phone. I said, I didn't do nothing, please. I didn't do nothing. And he said, you bitch. And just start punching me with both hands. And I said, please, please, I didn't do nothing. And he just started hitting even more when he saw the phone in my hand. He said, oh, you going to call the police? I tried to convince him that it was my sister. But I was so scared that I know I fucked up because I first I said it was my sister, Tia. And then I said, no, 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 it's my sister, Cynthia. And he just grabbed my pocketbook with his left hand, had his right hand, and drug me. And as you can see, you can see the bruises all over my body. He took and hit me in my face with a brick. Now, now this was a brick. Was it laying around? Where did the brick it come was from? Outside, he the brick was in his hoodie pocket. So he brought the brick into the house. He brought the brick with him. Now, what? Why would someone be carrying a brick on them? It, he, I know he got. It's like brick outside. Oh, I understand. It's outside, but I'm just trying. It sounds like he was. He, this was part of his he plan. He dragged. He had my pocketbook in his left hand. That night, uh, uh, my friend gave my daughter um, fifty dollars. For her birthday. For her birthday, okay. And a card. And my um aunt gave me a couple more dollars to give to my daughter. My daughter said she wanted her change out of her piggy bank. So it was her birthday, so I didn't say no. I emptied the pig out, and it's a digital pig, so it lets you know everything that's in it. It was like 30-something odd dollars in change. So he took the pocketbook, dragged me with the right hand, and dragged me down the steps. I was still like, please, no, no, I don't want to go. I, even when we got to the back door, I put my foot up on the door, try to for him not to pull me out the door, and he punched me so hard in my chest. I just uh, he got me outside. At this point, because of everything that happened before, because of the, the the, it sounds like he was even more angry now than the night prior. Yeah, but the whole time.